So the very first fish into Lake Malawi is believed to be the Estado Tilapia Calyptra, which is one single fish, and then over the years he's evolved to become all the other ones, so they believe. The same thing would have happened in the other lakes, of course, as well. Now, as a fish evolves, they evolve to... A fish only evolve in times of scarcity, which means when everything is good and living is good, nothing changes. When things are bad, that's when things change. So if, if there's scarcity, if, there's, if they're scarce for territory, if they're um, scarce for survival due to predators, if they're scarce for um, food, then out of brother, sister, brother, sister, brother, sister, the one that has, has say, a mutation, which is an advantage, mutates into become a new species. And so the way Lake Malawi is divided up within its habitats is one of the reasons why the fish are so diverse. And the fact that over the years the rift has caused the water level to be very high and very low at different times of the evolution of the lake. So let's say you have a fish that has evolved to be in rocks and you have another fish that has evolved to be in sand and another fish that has evolved to be in sand. A lot of the time, then there's another set of rocks there. And, and it's been like that for, say, a few hundred or whatever it takes for the fish to evolve. Then the water level goes up or the water level goes down, exposing new territories to these fish. So the fish that are in this rocky environment can't swim across the sand to get to the other rocky environment. So therefore, the fish in this rocky environment are genetically isolated from the fish in that rocky environment, even though we might be only talking about several hundred metres away, or less. But for, a, let's say, a bright blue or a orange rock-dwelling cichlid, to swim across the sand is just um, potty mullet. I mean, birds will eat him, large fish will eat him. He, he's got short bursts of speed, but he's not camouflaged or evolved to be over sand. And then, just like that, the fish from the sand often won't go over the rocks to get to the sand. So therefore, the diversification of these fish is absolutely unbelievable.